All right, so lesson 45, we have dividing by a decimal by a whole number. So here we have the problem, 4.2 divided by 3. When we're dividing by a whole number, we don't need to change anything. So with the division problem, the de decimal number comes straight up. Okay, when we're dividing by a whole number. So now I can divide and ignore the decimal place, because I've already got it where I need it. So 3 goes into 4 one time. That's 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Bring down my 2. 3 goes into 12 four times. And that's 12 and it zeroes out. Make sure that the 4 goes on to the left side or the right side of the decimal point. Okay? So my answer is 1.4. All right, on this problem, again, we're dividing by a whole number, so my decimal place goes straight up. All right, so 3 goes into 0, 0 times. 3 goes into 2, 0 times. So now I need to think 3 goes into 24 how many times? 3 goes into 24 8 times. Give that line. 8 times. That's 24. We subtract and get 0. So my answer is 0 0.08. Make sure to put in these zeros, because if you don't, you won't get the correct answer. You have to keep the, the place value correct. All right, last one. Here we have 0 0.6 divided by 5. Okay. Remember, decimal place go straight up when dividing by a whole number. I'm going to go ahead and put my 0 in there because 5 cannot go into 0. So then we think 5 goes into 6 how many times? Goes in once, that's 5. We subtract and get 1. Now you cannot have a remainder with a decimal. So to fix that problem, we continue to add zeros after my number. So remember, no matter how many zeros I add, it will not change the answer. Okay, so I'm going to add a zero and bring it down. Okay, five goes into ten two times. That's ten and we get zero. So remember with decimal places we have to continue adding zeros until we end up with a zero down here for my answer. Okay. And that's all. Good luck with your homework.